checking in uh, with one of, uh, I really think, the best organizations in the Bay Area. And when you look at what they've been able to do and help with over the last uh, year, we just can't say thank you enough. And, of course, we were talking about feeding Tampa Bay. And we have JC joining us uh, this morning with an update on how things are looking as we head into summer. Uh, and uh, anyways, thank you so much for joining us, uh, JC. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, good to be here. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be back. You know, let's go ahead. I mean, I think I need to touch on the fact that you really became the hunger hub during the pandemic yeah. and were able to help so many people in the Bay Area. What, 90 million meals distributed throughout the pandemic. I mean, let's give some love to your team. How were you guys able to make this happen? Yeah, it's uh, it has been a tough year, I know, for everybody. And, um, you know, for our team, we're really just uh, making sure that we're responding to the needs of the community all the time. And so, uh, we have a phenomenal team. Uh, we're very dedicated. We're problem solvers. And so, you know, we were able to, uh, within a matter of days, get new programs up and running and just, uh, you know, doing whatever we could uh, to make sure that we were able to serve the community with the, uh, the new needs that we had and the new circumstances around safety protocols. So a lot of creativity out of our awesome team. Yeah, and I think the community as well, I know, really stepped up. And I mean, where where do we sit now as we head into the summer? Obviously, things looking very different right now as to what they were at this time a year ago. But I know there's still our needs. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what we're seeing at Feeding Tampa Bay, and this is really uh, true to any type of disaster that hits, um, you know, we've been through a few hurricanes. Um, and so, you know, whenever there's a disaster, there's always that recovery and rebuilding phase. And so what we see coming off of, you know, a year after the pandemic, uh, once the, uh, you know, communities start to open back up, people go back to work, you know, all of these things um, are going to happen, but we're going to see families that um, are going to be in need for quite some time, uh, you know, because they got behind on bills or whatever the case may be. So uh, we're looking at a long road ahead for recovery for our community. Hmm. You know, you mentioned disasters, and I think just having that disaster preparedness is mm -hmm. key. And I know your focus is always growing to make sure that Feeding Tampa Bay is ready for whatever may come this way. And the word grow, though, I know is taking on a different meeting within Feeding Tampa Bay and your team. Explain what the grow code is. Yeah, so we have um, our culture at Feeding Tampa Bay. It has uh, what we call our grow code. It, it has five different elements in it. And really the, the purpose of that is to just have a common set of values, a common set of behaviors uh, and language that we can all collectively agree to live by. And it really just strengthens our team. It makes sure that everything we do comes back to the Grow Code to make sure that we're building you know, a, a very positive culture at Feeding Tampa Bay and that all team members feel engaged uh, in, in the work that they're doing each day because it is really important work um, and it's hard work. So we wanna make sure that the, the Grow Code really is supportive of the team in that way. Um, and, and we've loved it. Um, and you can find all of the elements of it on our website, uh, but it's just, it's a wonderful uh, thing that we've done uh, through our culture. Speaking of the team, you guys are hiring. Tell me about uh, who you're looking for, who the ideal kind of candidate or you know future employee would be. What do they need to know? Yeah, so uh, obviously, you know, as, again, as we're coming off the pandemic, we're still uh, growing as a team to make sure eventually we're still working to get towards a hunger-free Tampa Bay. And so our team is continuing to grow. So we are hiring uh, quite a few positions. And so, um, you know, we really are looking for dedicated team members. Uh, we're looking for uh, to build out a diverse team. And we really want to make sure that anybody joining the organization knows that there's an opportunity and a place for you at Feeding Tampa Bay. Uh, you can find, again, all of the Grow Code badges uh, on our website, feedingtampabay.org slash careers, uh, to make sure that, you know, we're a good fit for you and you're a good fit for us. There's a ton of different opportunities available, uh, and we'd be really excited to have you uh, join our growing team. Well, JC, you are a great fit for the Bay Area, great fit for the show. Thank you for coming in today and talking about this so we can always spread the good work that Feeding Tampa Bay is doing. There's the website. Of course, you can go there for more information on how you two can help. JC, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me.